Hey, I'm Big B and I Brick, and welcome to another edition of the Sellers Stream. I've got with me Great South Bricks, my cohort, my partner in crime. We were just chatting a little bit ago about, of course, Walmart and the Brick Box, which is the traditional grab for most of us. Um, and we were just saying, uh, well, go ahead. What did you? Uh, How did you end up? I got eight. Uh, I found zero in my store because I got a two-hour late start um so i got eight just going on the walmart app on my phone just ordering them one after another and you have a fairly suburban store right it's not yeah about yeah. 45 minutes outside of atlanta okay so those are quite possibly like the worst ones to go to yes you i know, think so soccer mom walmarts are not really the ones you want to go to um I've always said in the past, because those are what my experience is based upon, is I go to real hoodie ones. Mm -hmm. um, just, I mean, not necessarily hoodie, but, you know, there are people I know that do go to stores uh, and pack a gun to go with them because they're buying so much and they're they're just nervous about, you know, self-protection. But, um, you know, I gave my last, my old one went to uh, ABC Builds. I gave him the information on that and prepped him on it. He uh, he scored really well on it, from what I understand. That's good. Um, I think he pulled the whole half pallet. Uh, so, a lot of stores this year uh, did get the half pallet and not the full pallet. And there are a lot of folks out there talking about how this is, you know, not as great of a deal as in previous years. Which I'll agree, this is not uh, the best brick box that Walmart has ever put out. No, definitely. But. but uh, they did drop the price by ten dollars, which is a thirty-three percent reduction in price, offset by a twenty-five percent reduction in bricks. So it actually becomes, you know, price per price per piece, a better deal. But um, there's no big plate in it. Um, a lot I hear a lot of builders and creators saying, "Well, there's not a lot in there I could I could use." Yeah, I, I just noticed a bunch of stuff that's going to, well, I think will sit, unless you have a just a ton of them, which I don't with only eight. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I may give some to my nephews for Christmas if I don't really that's like them. Good. That's always a good place to put them. I've got, uh, actually right here, I've got it handy dandy and ready to go. This is the complete inventory of Walmart's brick box from this year, which is still in a lot of Walmarts worldwide, um, still available. This is 919 parts for $20 plus local taxes. Um, but I mean, you start off with some common stuff. If you're not familiar with Brickstock, you can see over here the number of sets it appears in. It doesn't give you a total, but it gives you, a, through experience, a good idea how many it's, it's been in. So obviously this is a very, very common part. Yeah. And I've got the price set right now to the six month average. Um, and here's quantity of each, what you get in each brick box. So, I mean, not too bad, but I mean, two by four brick. You can't go wrong with two by four brick, especially in monochrome. Right. You know, again, really common antennas, axles, way too common. In fact, it may still even be on the wall in some places. You know. I will say one thing I noticed that was pretty good with it is the two by two um, brick slope. It, that ha it comes with 10 white ones. So that is just in time for the Christmas mocking season. Right. 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 Yeah. Four right there. Or no, the, the two by two. Two by two. Yeah, that's great right there. Plus you get corners. So, you know, you get a little bit of detail work going in there. Mm -hmm. oh. Definitely. So snow on the roof. And snowballs, of course. Uh, I repeatedly say this over and over. Um, these... White studs, you know, they're. If you had the quantity, you could put them for six cents or more in your store during the season if you were apt to. Blue stud, always underrated, especially at three and a half cents. Um, mm -hmm. It's a lot rarer in that you think it is. But it's, I mean, it's got. I'm, I'm not a big fan of right there. Um, yeah, because, I mean, I've got just absolutely thousands of them because of the brick boxes. I think I sold my first eyes in possibly a year 
this week mm -hmm. uh, of this one. So, yeah. Yeah, I think but I have a bunch of sitting somewhere. I think I sold like 10 sometime earlier this year, but that's it. Oh, yeah, we'll go through it by category. All right, of course, human tool. Everybody's got one, way too many of them, but you know they will eventually sell. And uh, it's amazing. I remember when this was, you could go a study price of you know, 45 cents on this three years ago. So this is what happens when people completely discount an element and just dump them wholesale. Yeah. But cow horns, not the ones everybody's looking for, which is the conjoined horns, but. Mm -hmm. Pretty good piece. Oh yeah. No complaints about that one. No. Two by sixes. Can't go wrong. I actually shrink this window a little bit so I can see what's going on in chat. Oh, hit the cough button real quick. Oh, that was in unison. All right. Um, got cold water bricks, brick daddy, gator bricks. Ralph De Brule, El Paso Bricks, uh, Pumpkin, what's going on? Request, Bones, how you doing? All right, so we're, we're to the selection of two by fours. And two by fours, always good to have in quantity in any set. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have, I mean, it's got one two by four in it that some people may gawk at, and it's not even that bad. Medium lavender is not that bad. It, it's not a bright light orange. Yeah. Oh. Orange, highly underrated color. Mm -hmm. Highly sought after in quantity. All right. There's our two by twos. Not too bad. No. Could be better, could be worse. Could be better, could be worse. Exactly. Exactly. Now, if they start putting in some dark tan bricks, I'd be all over it. Yeah, uh, dark tan. There's, there's a definitely a very popular color right there, and you know, I'm a big fan of the earth tones. Keeping those in because everybody seems to, no matter what you're building, there always seems to be some place to land. Yeah, you always need those. You always need dark gray and light gray, or at least I do every time. Yeah. So I'm never pleased to see the bright light yellow one by two brick, but I'll be stuck with. A lot of them again. If anything, for builders, it's filler. You just, you know, I don't know if you want to elevate. But it's, it, yeah, but it's, it's seven like cents filler. average. It's not a filler. That's the problem. How much is it? I, I can't see. Seven, seven cents. Good grief. All right. Used Duplo can be your filler. <laughs> and Duplo should be a good filler. Um, I didn't pick uh, up any of the Duplo boxes, but I mean, $20, if you factor yeah. in shipping, if you're if you're a Bricklink shopper of Duplo, and you factor in the shipping, that's actually a killer buy because Duplo costs quite a bit. Yes, and I have a little bit of my store, and when it sells, it sells in relatively large quantities for how much I have. Yeah, well, as we go to the smaller bricks, it gets you know less and less. Uh, saleable let's call it even though it mm -hmm. sounds a little insulting to the colors but you know i appreciate all of the colors dark blue obviously the best preference out of there oh yeah coming down here to one by one brick you know you got red yeah that'll move no super long bricks nothing quite so impressive right here I've noticed These are that right. one by six, one by eight, one by tens, they go pretty quick, but then the one by 12, 14, 16s, all those, they kind of sit a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, is there a pricey brick? Because they're, yeah. they're not as common. And they're found in a lot of modulars. Yeah, that's true. Hey, is that a trans yellow right above that? Yeah, trans yellow. It's always good. Yeah, it is. I like it is. Really. I'm always a big fan of the. Transparent colors. 
All right. So much you this can is, do. This is one of this is actually one of your rares for the box. What was that price on it? Eleven and a third. Three. Yeah. This uh, this is always a perennial wall item right here, but always great to have in quantity. So no complaints about that. No complaints on the one by three. Mm -hmm. One by ten. I'm happy to have it, especially in DBG. Yeah. Solid color. And uh, I shouldn't have it organized this way because it's sorting as well by my what's not in my store. So. For me, this is actually a great brick box. If when you're looking at all this right here, all the pluses mean that they're not currently in my store. Right. Now that that sucks for me, but I've got a replenishment, and uh, somewhere between 40 and 45 percent of this box will be all new to my, or not all new to my store, but new lots to my store. So it'll be great because I'll be adding this in a good quantity in all of those. Yeah, I think I um. Gosh, how many lots? How many lots was I missing? It was over a hundred. That over a hundred lots I'll be adding if I put these spirit boxes in my store. It's crazy! I didn't realize I was out of all the basic stuff. But this right here is uh, that bright green is mm -hmm. probably one of my least favorite colors. It's it's not great, but I mean, if you've uh, if if you've done some Minecraft set part outs in your store as well. You know, you can see how adding this color to it's beneficial. Yeah. You know, I'm still standing by the, you know, every color, every element matters. Mm -hmm. Care about all of them. Not, not going to harshly diss them. No, I'm talking about, from, I mean, when I build, which is pretty rare, I, I never have a use for that color unless it's filler. Yeah. Not a lot of people do. And that's why a lot of folks were disappointed when they went to that color for base plates. Oh yeah, def, that's I think that's my biggest qualm with it. Was that twenty two cents for that? Yeah. We we'll get down to the other two by fours here. I'm just gonna do a. Uh... <coughs> there. So red, dark green, lime. That's definitely a filler. You know. Medium azure, not so hot, but wish it was the dark azure brother. Unless you are doing water. Yes. That's like one of those in-between colors, between blue and the really light blue. Works out pretty well. Reddish brown, always good to see those bricks in there right there. Those, mm -hmm. those should all move right there. And then great selection of two by two. Some excellent one by ones with a new edition, at least. Uh, you know, I don't think this has been out. Well, it's been out in three sets. So hmm. this is really good for people that are utilizing all the colors and, like you said, um, shading in between. Mm -hmm. And you'd be surprised what those, uh, the lighter green, what is that? The uh, green, I can't see. What color is that called? Yellowish green. Yellowish green. Ninjago green. Yeah, you put that under the um, dark blue or light blue trans um, plates, and it just does a lot with your water, how you build. Yeah. I think, it's, and they finally utilize that color. with the Ninjago City. Definitely good underwater color. And then again, we've got it first time ever, one by three, Rick, right here for it. Mm hmm So... Some good medium blue in here. I'm always a fan of the. I I like trans red, so yeah. big stock of one by two of it, and then stackables in light and dark. Point. Why not? There we go. All right. So this will be a great one. Um, a lot. You're gonna see a lot of palm trees in the near future in mocks. Mm hmm so and then skateboard ramps and awnings um, what is it the bright light orange um, there's actually I've been selling out of this really? there's been yeah um, that color or that part in that that part? specific color right there 
Hmm. I didn't have lots of it, but I was surprised that it sold a lot more quickly than the dark blue. But I think arch I, yeah. fairly rare. You know, you're your own judge on on bright pink, whether you like it or not. I said this will go well for uh, a lot of folks doing tree work right here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, some castle folks are happy to see that. Although it's yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's, it's pretty common. It's pretty common, but you know they're always nice to have. Well, if you build castles, you can't have enough of those. Yeah, and then right here, this will be nice for anybody building a a wood or mud type of home structure. Yoda's house. Yeah, good colors. Right here for snot. Good for hidden snot. Yeah. Not a big fan of the yellow. So this one will uh this one will most likely sit for a while. But yeah, I always look at that part in that color and I'm just like, what where am I gonna use about? the lavender log brick? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's petrified. <laughs> All right, not bad. Good choice right here. Mm -hmm. Especially 36 cents on this one. Okay, great. Well, it's because I think it was in a set a while back. Um, <coughs> Sorry. And uh, I think Lego's been trying to put it in more and more sets here. This one or the one with studs on both sides in white was had a pretty high price. Yeah. I like this, you know, brick bank people will be a big fan to see this in there. If they're yeah, blowing it up. Window moldings. Yep. Dark ride always good. Mm -hmm. More like you said of wave work. Oh yeah. And then right here, this is the loser for the box. Hidden the, snot. The dark, dark pink one by two by two snot on one side or one by one by two by one and two thirds excuse me not a fan of those parts These i can ones? see the benefits but still yeah so I mean, there's gonna be a lot of folks that are uh There'll be ice cream shops or stuff like that. They'll be happy with these colors, but that reminds me of something you see in a dollhouse. Yes. So yes. I guess, in other words, a friend said. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fine. Like I mean, if you've got if you've parted out the friend sets enough in your store, there's uh there's plenty of re there's plenty of reason to be happy about all of these pastel colors that are in there. Unfortunately, I mean they don't they don't represent a large percentage of the sales. Right for a store, um, they're always great to have when they come in. They're, they're always appreciated. It's always good to see, you know, people. I'm gonna generalize and say a majority of the time, people building in these colors strictly are girls or dads with daughters. But I'm always a big supporter of this because I always like to see that happen. You know, right. Lego's seen way too much as four boys, and it it shouldn't be. But, all right, off the soapbox. Medium dark. That's not a bad one right there at all. Not a fan of this one because I've mm -hmm. got so many of them already. I think I do too, actually. This will be good. You can see a lot of people actually building with this element. Mm -hmm. All right. This one doesn't seem to move, and I've already got a lot of this one. I sold a bunch of red of those, that part. The red, uh, you'll definitely be putting out the green. If you have the green in this element, that sells right now. But All right, so these are both excellent. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, these will both do pretty well. I think the magenta will actually do well in here because somebody will figure out some kind of soda or container that brand that is in magenta and will popularize it. Yeah. And a ton of these still in my store, at least because they were wall items.
Good selection of the rounded brick. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not too worried about this one. You can use that for a lot of things. Yeah. First thing comes to my mind is like a water fountain. Like, yeah. Who's your needs to use that for his water fountain in a city? It's a nice bright color. I can also see it in playground scenes. Yeah. Cone's always good. This has got to be. Is this incredibly boring for everybody in chat, or what? What's going on? Um. Green door. You know. I like the green door. What's behind the green door? Hopefully, a new car. I don't know. That was a uh, vintage porn quote right there. So we got the yellow door frame. Eh. Why did it have to be yellow? I don't know, because it goes with green or something. Well, Red flag. I'm actually excited. Glad to see the glass in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I thought uh, that was interesting. I'm I'm stoked for the trans purple window yeah. glass. Eh, wall item. <laughs> yeah. That sits in my store. It sits for a long time. These will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So will that. That will too. Hmm. It's all right. So, there we go. Yep. These are actually all happy about those. Mm hmm. Even, even the Transclair one. Good selection of plates this year. Oh, like they went uh, with the dark green. Yeah, I like the dark green too. One by sixes. You know, that medium lavender will will sit out of the four of them or the five of them. Mm -hmm. But some nice, some good pieces at least for the big plates. That dark bluish gray will do well. Oh yeah. I think I just bagged up a bunch of those. Good selection. Two by three white plate, seasonal. Mm -hmm. That'll sit. That'll sit. That'll sit. Good to have this back in the store right there. This will actually sit for a while. The two by six reds. Yeah. Good overall, two by eights, excellent four by 10 right there and four by 12. Completely happy with those. <laughs> hmm. Red eyelet. Mm, Not the, uh, yeah. 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 I think we said enough of those already. <laughs> yeah. Have a, a mated pair right there of those. Orange jumper. I don't even think I have any of them in there. Mm. I don't know if I do either. I don't think I do. I just happen to know where my jumpers were. Now, this is weird. Do they not have the party? Well, yeah, yeah, we've got the trap door piece but do not have the adjoining piece to go with it. Hmm. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to check out the instructions and see, uh, see where they use that in any of the included instructions to see why they would have done that. Or I'm wondering if uh, for some reason, somehow the brick box inventory is wrong. I just happened to have a brick box here in front of me and, uh, Get a side of it, and no, it's in there. There is none. No, no adjoining piece for it. Hmm. So, yeah. So I've got. Uh, I guess the question of the night is: I, I heard over on hauling and bowling is how many did Big B get? 
And we'll definitely discuss that after we get through this list here. Just stay tuned for that. And good selection. I mean, they're just studs. But at least it's a different flower color right here. Yeah. My flowers sit. And I, I mean, they just sit. I never sell any. Which I think is weird because I'll sell a lot of like the flower stems, but not the flowers. Yeah. Well, it could also be people building trees. It's true. So. Can't really complain too much about these. No. There's your there's your favorite right there. Mm-hmm. Really smooth. <laughs> well, I have found to be one of the most more useful colors. <clears throat> so if you can get it in your store fast enough right there, any of the um, buy one slopes, whether it be the two by, three by, or four by, uh, one slopes in green, all go great for tree making. I hate to interrupt you, but do you know who just popped into the chat? Long hey, time Bruce no there. Right now, we'll have to uh, see if it's the real one first. Yeah, it's a real one. What's going on, Doc? How you doing, buddy? He's got an invite. He can come in if he wants to. Be interesting to hear his take on this. That'll be a good one right there. Again, another dark tan. Another lime. Doc, come on in, man. I've actually, last one of the last things I built, I use a lot of those parts right there. But, of course, in the dark tan. Yeah. So at least they'll be out there for you or anybody else in quantity. Yes. Always good to get stuff right here for mountain work. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we don't see enough of out there is people doing dirt work. You know, not every hill is made of granite. Most of them are made of dirt and, uh, you know, rubble. Sediment. There you go. Thank you. Ninth grader of science. Hmm. that'll go fast the red one yeah so um i always try to keep the old school colors if i can in the store of the slopes mm -hmm. especially the uh the three by four slopes or the four by three slopes mm -hmm. um in red because it's the old school color for building um the old the classic classic lego yeah. sets uh, if you get the four by three red slopes, I, I think it's in like the log cabin or something like that in the creator set. Mm -hmm. If you get those in any quantity, they're they're gone. Oh yeah, those and uh, those big like it's what is it two by eight? I think it's the biggest one is a two by eight, say something like that. Yeah, but uh, I'd right. have longer. Okay. Somebody, somebody in the chat, go look that up. Be the hero. Um, what the longest two by slope is? Uh, this will. Technically, it's the the two is on the end. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the by two, the, the by two, the by two slope. No idea. Oh, by the way, no, absolutely zero idea why slopes are specific to that. Maybe it's because of the uh, they're the judgment of the angle. Maybe. As if you're eyeballing the brick. These are. Uh, I think this will actually do very well. I think light aqua is a very underrated color, um, especially in the city aspect. But like you said, um, it's the behind the colors, the uh, the effects that you see. You know, a lot of the professional folks doing, uh, they utilize the color behind the transparent color to bring forth. You know. Well, here's what you do with that. You take, you get the little Lord of the Rings ring, you put it on top, you flip another one upside down, put it on there, put it behind a window, you have curtains. Yeah. Not just curtains, fancy curtains. Yeah, yeah, super fancy curtains. We pull the hacks and... The kind I wasn't allowed to touch in the living room growing up. Yeah. I wasn't even allowed to go in that room. Oh, yeah. There was like three rooms like that when I was a kid. I was just a pole in my basement. 
Here's some Legos. <sighs> Here you go. All right, so bright light yellow, um, very ice creamy. Maybe people blowing up, um, mm -hmm. blowing up the uh, the castle for uh, what is that last one that they had the live action of? Um, the one that Bell was in. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Stack's got a uh, kids by himself, but you know, he may not be able to hop on. But... Maybe he's chaining him to a pole in the basement. Yeah. He's got him working in the store. That's what I'd be doing. Good colors here for the curved slopes. Mm -hmm. Just think. Only been in one other, one other set, and it was a uh, dimension set. So, and it's not a dimension set that's going to be found in quantity in store because it was Adventure Time. Which one? It's real small. I can't read it. Adventure Time. If it, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you guys don't get my pop-ups when I do a mouse over. It's all right. I'm also pretty blind. Yeah, this this one this one will set. <laughs> is that the one? Is it this? One, is it the straight peak or the curve on the side as well? It's it's not the the uh, wedge. It's just the slope. Okay. Inverted. Uh, okay. Curved inverted. Mm-hmm. Is there a way for me to zoom in on this on Hangouts, or am I just stuck with this? You're just stuck with this unless you're looking along as on your own. Gotcha. Bright light orange. Mm. Always good right there. Always mm -hmm. good right there. That's a really good piece, too. It is. Even in white. Yeah, that's real good. That's a good piece. Yeah. Would have liked to have seen that in light gray. I've got a problem keeping that in stock in high quantity in light gray. The the grill? Yeah, the grill. I sold all of mine a week and a half ago. Yeah, light gray is just, gray. it's the... Dark gray, dark gray. Dark gray, oh, good on you. Yeah, it was like a, over 400, maybe 500. These damn eyeballs. So many of them. We need to get uh, Port City on here to say, this is what you use this for. This yeah, is what this for. <laughs> Give some people some ideas. Some tires. Not the magic tires, but yeah. surprisingly, uh, I don't think I have two out of three of those. Probably because Doc just bought them all. Wedge plates, only two of them. So, hmm. no complaints. Yeah. And no wedges. I got these for days. Yep. These will move right here. So these are always good rims. As you know, these are hard to keep a, a lot of in stock. Yep. I know, you, I know you use these a lot. I'm trying to think, do I use those or smaller ones for my eBay? These oh. are the same ones that you bought for me. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I couldn't remember. And then right here, the uh, the murdered out rims. Is that still mm -hmm. a term that the kids use? Murdered out? Nope. No, nope, they don't <laughs> use that anymore? Okay. I mean, I'm 30, so maybe, but when I was a kid, we did not. All right. Call them blacked out. Blacked out, all right. See, I love that. My wife used to watch Robin Big, and she told me it was called Murdered Out. So, okay, that's where I've heard it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you need the 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 Big B T-shirt with the two backwards B's for Big B books. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to associate with that show because, like, uh, I've heard all of the stuff <laughs> that uh, that BB said afterwards about the show about how he was treated, and I think it was like, like wow, they had. 
Oh, I def- definitely. Put up with that shit. He's my favorite character. Even though yeah, I, I, yeah. I didn't watch, I didn't watch the time. show. I just, uh, I, my wife was a big fan of it, so I tried to be able to uh, be attuned to the conversation, if you would, mm-hmm. and be able to like talk back about it and yeah, be a good hubby. So, best part right here, in my opinion, is the window selection in this one. I've got zero qualms on this one. These are all good. Can't have enough. Can't have enough windows, to be honest with you. You got your you got your your whack jobs out there like Hosier that are you know oh. <laughs> making these five foot tall buildings. Or there's four hundred of them and he didn't get enough. Yeah, there's four hundred and he wishes he had another six hundred. So, but Is that brown? One always good, always good color. People aren't gonna see be happy about shutters, but I am because I've got. A lot of yellow. Uh, it's nice to see them using green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is a very, I mean, it's fairly rare color as far as that goes. It's been in four sets, including this it, one. Yeah, Lakeside Lodge there on the bottom. I was about to say, I had them. Changing the Seasons, box. Lakeside Lodge. Mm-hmm. Um, another creative build box The uh, that's out currently, 10705. Mm-hmm. So, and black and white windows. So yeah. there you go. It is from... Your standpoint, my standpoint, we're looking at part out value and a lot of these like the green shutters are from the creator sets. You can't part out the creator sets with what we do. I mean, yeah, you could, the, 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 well but, you could, but you're not gonna make money off it. I mean, because those creator sets no. are, are traditionally like a one point five part out value. You know. And a lot of times not even that. So you have to find them on clearance. Right. To be able to do anything with them. Or at least I do. But yeah, I I like that color in that part. And that's that's a really good point as well. When you're uh, if you're a type of person that micromanages your store, um, that's a really good point. I mean, I don't go to the point of micromanaging it that far, but I know that there's people out there that are that go and look at every single piece with a fine tooth comb. You know, I go through that's it about as fast as I've noticed. Yeah, I go through it uh, probably not like a lot faster than what we did. I mean, that yeah. was 30 minutes to go through one set. Now, when you have a super high quantity of a set and, you know. Things like, change. Yeah, like if I, when, I, when I part out the uh, Nia Dimensions set that I have, mm-hmm. know, I've got a thousand plus of those. I'm going to look at each element and I'm going to judge each element. Right. Um, not harshly or anything, but I mean, I'll go and, and check out each one and see how how it looks on there for the quantity I'll be putting on because um, I don't know where the threshold is for each element. And we talked about that last week, um, that certain elements have thresholds and you've always got to remember that there are people out there and I, I call them corporate buyers and they're not necessarily corporate people, but I mean, they buy because they're going to resell it as well. Yeah. Um, they're just going to be reselling it in another form mm-hmm. um, and they want, they, they go for the ease of business. They go for um, the ease of accounting as well. They don't want to go and have to necessarily order from 17 stores to fulfill their needs for their mocks. They want to, you know, the bricklink part to them is arduous. They don't like to deal with it. They just want to go, I get it from here. It's always good. Um, I get a good, good enough price on it where I'm really happy because I don't have to deal with all of this other crap. And I value my time that I don't have to spend doing that. Yeah. And I mean, that's the, that's the, basically the gist of the most important thing that I learned from bricks for Chris when he was, you know, telling me about the whole, uh, what he had learned from brick five, because I mean, they're, they're enormous and they, they do a great deal of business. They're number one in the U S I mean, they're number one on Bricklink right now Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're good folks. They just, they, they think about, the other aspect of it, they realize that there's not, um, and this, I'm getting this as a gist from what I took from it is, um, they realize that, you know, there are people out there that need that and they, they do value their time very well. You know, they don't want to have to deal with that. So, yeah, no, I agree. All right. We're done with that segment of the show, I guess. Um, (laughs) 
see, uh, we had a comment in chat uh, from Pumpkin. He was saying that um, he took our advice on the bulk brick as far mm -hmm. as how to sell it and how to present it, and it's doing well for him, and that's good. And if it works out for you, that that's an easy thing for you, um, because you do have to value your time. I mean, it, sitting there for hours sorting through everything, how much is that worth to you? What are you what are you what are you losing out on? You know, and on cue right here. Oh my, Doc Brickstackers. Those of you who don't know him, uh, beautiful sight. Doc Doc has been with me for basically every step of a beginning venture whether it be uh, the Saturday stream here on, uh, you know, over on that other Lego show, um, the Saturday stream, seller stream, everything. So good to have you back. I, uh, I saw you were making a comeback over on Instagram. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. All right, good to go. Yeah, I haven't used uh, Google Hangouts or anything in a long time, so I just want to make sure everything still was working right. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't want to interrupt y'all's conversation. But yeah, I, I took a little break. I had to for everybody that's asking me a thousand questions, and I'm not trying to ignore you. Um, I, do you have a minute? Just kind of, I'll tell you where I'm from and where I'm doing. I, I picked up, you know, I finished my doctorate last year. Um, was able to pick up teaching some uh, some undergraduate and graduate courses on top of my 40 hour a week plus job. Um, it's to help out, you know, just money wise and stuff. So that kind of took my time away from being able to participate in a lot of the social media. Um, you know, Instagram, heck, everything. I, I don't even get doing my personal Facebook, but it was just, uh, it was a lot of work at eight to five and then um, working until late at night, you know, prepping uh, for my courses, teaching a night class um, and stuff like that. So that took a lot of my time and I was still selling and fulfilling orders and stuff like that, but I just wasn't able to pour out as nearly as much and then actually do anything with social media. Uh, I just had to take a break. It's only so much time in the day with four kids, all doing sports and activities. Everybody out there on this chat knows, you know, all the running you do. And so I, I just told my wife, I said, I've, I've got a, and she's working on her doctorate too. So she's going back to school. That's where she's at tonight doing homework with her study group. But um, I just had to make a choice, you know, and she, she hung it up for me. She, uh, she watched all the kids when I was working on my school and, and uh, I said I did the same, so I had to just give up some stuff, and it wasn't gonna be giving up the Bricklink store, but it's gonna be giving up social media for a while. So yeah, I knew but, that. Yeah, so I knew. It's, good, it's good to have you back, man. Not full time or nothing like that, but I, I figured a little bit of prodding by enough of us OGs would uh, would get you to at least make a uh, a guest appearance on the rare occasion. So it's good to see you as well. Yeah. Um. Uh, I guess Brick Treats asked me, where's my big M hat? Well, I was doing water changes on the tanks right here. My big B is simple link. And the reminder, I didn't hear the reminder go off on the show starting. At, uh, uh, and the kids are inside. So if I go inside, I got my 13-year-old watching the other ones right now. And if I go inside, I'm going to get caught. I'll never be able to come back out again. So I'm just doing it and letting y'all see the bald spot and not worrying about my cap. So uh, not worrying about that. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's good to see everybody. Like I said, I'm going to try my semester's slowing down a little bit. Uh, I'm, I've got the finals in two weeks, uh, so I'll hopefully be able to kick up some some more social activities soon. Uh, so it is it is slowing down a good bit. So, so we over, went over the. Yeah, I like it. in way too much detail. I'm sure for everybody, we probably picked up ten down votes from everybody from the the amount of stupid detail and judgment that I put into it. So. I, did, I walked, uh, I put 10 in my cart, let's see, Friday, and I took them out. Um, I had bought a ton of stuff at two of my scratch and dent salvage stores and actually blew my budget there, to be honest with you. Um, so I, I decided to hang, just, just wait on the brick boxes right now because I went into a Walmart last night, um, not in my hometown here or not where I live now. And there, I counted, there was two pallets in the store, and it's the smallest town. It really surprised me. I think one pallet had three boxes off of it, and there were some duplo mixed in, so it wasn't all the, um, the creator uh, box. But, um, and then I went back to the toy section and just looked and see what they had back there, and it was another half pallet of all the yellow creator boxes. And so that store, more than likely, will end up probably holding on to it for a while, and hopefully they'll mark them down. 
But in my area, I could walk in on Friday morning and, and load up as many as I wanted to if I had the money to do it. But I hung on. I just, I just I decided to invest in other things this year and not do as many of the brick boxes. My first time not doing the brick boxes, but I just uh, I found too good a deal. It's sixty percent off the sticker price at these scratch and dent stores. Um, and so some some of them were like marked really cheap, and then took a sixty percent off. So I ended up filling up about two buggies full. Uh, I only showed one on Instagram, but. Is that so the same store that you go to? Yep. Well, yeah. maybe. Yeah, it's like it. It's just like it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Don't yeah. give away his spot, man. No, I'm not giving it away. Everybody's got. It's everybody's all. got their. Everybody's got their little hidden places, and you gotta. Re, you gotta respect when somebody's got a, a little spot, and you don't. You know, give it away on them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say the name. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a decent weekend. I mean, it was not bad. I didn't buy a whole lot online uh, or anything like that. How many did you release? How many boxes you end up getting total? I've got uh, 30 in hand so far. And I've got, so I've got right? 24 that I've got to pick up at the store currently. So I, I guess I can count those 24 uh, as being mine because I don't think that uh, Walmart would cancel ones that were already in store, just ones yeah. that haven't shipped yet. So, oh yeah, Hoosiers asked me about my Toy Story find. Okay, <clears throat> where um, I went to a Walmart close to where I was born. It wasn't my hometown one, but it uh, it's known to have really good prices. They'll just mark stuff down, even new sets. They'll they won't mark up to the full MSRP. And so when I went in there, it had a, another pallet of the brick boxes Friday late. So I said, well, I'm not going to get them. I'm just going to wait. So I went around and just, and it's a small Walmart. It's not even a 24 hour one. It's, it doesn't have groceries or nothing. It's just one of the old, old, old ones. And I went in there and I was like, man, there's just really nothing here. There was nothing on sale. I was kind of disappointed. And then I turned the corner and I said, wow, they had a, sm a small little uh, clearance section. And they had a lot of the Ninjago um board games from like 2011 10 whatever it was they had the um oh it was the one with the the Egypt, egyptian micro figs and all them um and i said i looked at those they wanted 21 bucks a piece for those i was like i'm not getting those and so i just started digging and moving boxes out of the way and man i came across that toy story box and i, I couldn't believe it it was more i think it was 33 dollars. i said go scan this get my boy to go scan it just to make sure and i said yeah and I just looked it up on eBay and saw it was so about 119, 120 plus shipping. So I'm not cracking that one. I'm just going to keep it for a while and, and eBay me honestly. Um, now you're not worried that Lego's going to come back out with the Toy Story line to ruin all the resale market, are you? Probably. But anyway, that's how my luck is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, I, found, uh, I forgot the name. Of it. It's a huge. I found all the way to the back. There were two of the Star Wars sets from like 2013, 14, maybe 13. It's like 1,200 pieces. They were $40 each. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's a maroon and white ship. Um, anyway, so I, I bought those two. And when I got in the truck and started to leave, I said, well, I'm just going to look and see what they're selling for. They were selling for $275 each on eBay. So I'm going to get those up tomorrow. Are you talking um, about the Republic gunships? Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. It's... Uh, I paid forty bucks for it for an eleven hundred seventy six piece. You might want to get a hold of Brooklyn Bricks. He's been uh yeah. he happened to he I guess zoomed in on my one of my shame piles and saw one of them sitting in there. So he's been trying to work on some trade with me lately. So let me see if that's it. I want to look it up. For those of the you guys, for those of you guys that don't know Doc uh, or know his history, he is the Lego conspiracy theory king. As far as Lego's uh, ongoing war against the reseller market, so and it's come through a couple of things like me and um, Brick or Treat have had some you know some stuff come through because it's uh yeah it's Republican attack gunship seven six seven six uh, two thousand solid solid scores man but I got things for the two thousand thirteen one so 
It's the 75021. Now, I have to double check that set number to make sure I looked at the right one, but still, it's still selling for a lot more than 40 bucks. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, me and Bot, Bot, we've come up with a thing, you know, all these reissues. That dang chicken, you know, I went back and bought that Easter chicken. I bought every one of them I could find at the Toys R Us. I probably spent more in gas driving to Toys R Us than I did. Um, <laughs> I'm able to make out of the deal, but, you know, like that one. They'll just reissue something like that again, and I, I'm stuck on it. That's what they're doing. Yeah, uh, I saw uh, well, you know, this this next Easter one is going to be the Easter Bunny. It is a new Easter Bunny, but the ears are the same, which will screw over the market on that one for anybody that parts out that fig. Because the chicken suit guy actually goes and sells better parted out than he does whole, because if you rip the wings off of them, you have a all-white torso that nobody's got to strip. That's true. And then um, I saw what Brick for Chris got. I think it was him. got the... Um, the minifig pack from the grand new grand it's like he used to give them away at the grand store the grand openings of these new stores yeah instagram but that one's been rehashed a couple times too now i don't know if that's just old stock left somewhere and they just decided to give it out on you know brick friday i'm not really sure but uh you know that when i came into the hobby in 2013 that was one that was being given away i came in on the tail end of that one being given away um and new store openings, and then, and again, here it is. You know, four years later, and it's still being given out. But you know, I mean, I just know what I know that they have really started reusing a lot of the same figs and a lot of the sets. And, and in my short time of doing this in four years, you know, you could buy, you, you might find some of those mini figs in two sets, but now you get something that might be in four or five sets now. And so they're kind of flooding the market with a lot of these same figs. But I'm not worried about the. I mean, them coming out with another Toy Story, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. And like, that's, they come that's out. Way too, that's way too slight. That involves a lot more licensing deals than them putting out something in their own line. You know, no, I just but, got enough case, and they're coming out with a Toy Story four. There's gonna be a Lego line now. You shouldn't have said it. Oh, really? No, I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a but they are. They are coming. They are coming out with an Incredibles. All right. So yeah, that, that actually means really good things for the two figs in the Disney series that are doing very poorly, which is Mr. Incredible and Syndrome. Oh. Hey, David, how are you? Yeah. Um, oh, uh, that's my fish tanks. But anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll stick my fish tanks back here. Uh, I've got too many of them to take care of, but uh, I, got, I had to get back into it. I was going through the drawers. But yeah, I'll have to give y'all an update. I'll, I'm planning to take off some time during the mid-December through the first of the year. We get two weeks off anyway, but I'm going to take some personal time. And I'll do a new tour of my brick shed for y'all uh, then. Nice, nice. You got a chance to get you on the show again, too? Oh, yeah. I hope so, yeah. Good. Excellent. Yeah, when you show up on here sometimes for the first time, you get like a random order from Bricks for Chris. I did. Huh? It's happened, for, it's, it's happened for every single uh, new seller that's come on. So, well, yeah, he, uh, I'm not a new seller, but I always welcome his order. So, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, anybody else? We got uh, David, David Menez. So, what do you say? <laughs> Sorry, you know the skunk from the CMFs. Yeah. It's in one of the new city sets, so I don't know if that's going to affect the price on it or not. Oh, the skunk? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're shitting me. Yeah, the no. skunk. The one you got know, like 8,000 of. Oh, man. I'm going to have to move that. I do like <laughs> the new log head. I like the new log head. Is it the same color skunk, yeah. or is it a different color skunk? You know, is there such thing as a different color skunk? Well, I don't know. They could go with yeah. like a uh, a dark brown coloration for it. That's true. Uh, let me look it up. Oh, man, it's gonna I'm sure it's I'm going to have to dump that quick. But then it also depend on the set price? No, not really. Not really. Yeah, they'll put it at a 597 set or something like that. No, it'll, it'll show up. It'll show up in, you know, a factory country. So. Where did I see that? I thought it was in one of the new city uh, forest police or whatever it is coming out. Ding. Big thanks ah, to uh, Ocean Brick Fire. Just got an order from Ocean Brick Fire. Thank you there, sir. Hey, uh, David is asking, what's the new print coming out in the creator set line? 
I haven't. I, mean, I guess you're talking about. I mean, many fake torsos have come out. I don't know. No. I guess. I mean, if you're saying the Incredibles are coming out, when are they going to release that? Have you heard anything on the day of that? I mean, I've been so out of touch with. Everything, no, but so. you know, with the you know with the close relationship between Disney and Lego, that there's going to be a set for it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure that's all. I mean, they always, it's going to be sets, or are they, they going to do another wave with the minifigs from Disney? Are they? Well, you know? What's that? CMFs, Disney? Yeah. Are they got another wave coming, or is that it? I really think that that's it, unfortunately. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of the second wave of Batman coming out. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not a big DC fan, but Batman was a pretty piss-poor performer. Um as far as the CMF line versus Disney, I mean, Disney is the one series so far that I've been, uh, you know, a part of that I did not get enough of and that I wish that I had not gotten enough of. Um, it did pretty poorly to start off with. And uh, the people that did sell it early sold it super cheap. So it didn't have a great sale price at the time but now it's making such a uh, strong comeback. And I knew it was going to be like, you know, one of these perennial favorites because of, you know, the, the Disney, uh, but also, you know, Disney. So, <laughs> yeah, I should have just bit hard and got like 10 cases and sat. Um, that's the one line that I've not been able to get for $2 or $2 and 50 cents, you know, out in the wilds on sale. I haven't seen any CMFs on sale. I mean, none. I mean, yeah. And so if you remember, that's also when uh, Toys R Us was cracking up. down nationally on the um, the two for five dollar sales. That's when they instituted the the max limit that you could get on figs during that time period. So the um, I went to the store last night, and actually, the store that I bought that Toy Story set still had minifigures. Uh, see, so series fourteen, fifteen. Disney. They had full boxes, full cases, of course, all ringing up. Three ninety seven. Um or three ninety nine, whatever it was. But I was sure I was for sure. <laughs> and it breaks from Chris right there. Yes, it's me. I am I I'm still alive. I'm See here. you know what you know and you know what brought him back? That uh where are they now video. Yes, that, that that video is what made you come back because you got featured in a where or not they now video when you're still around. Um, that was probably the first time I logged into Brick Stackers YouTube in months. I'm not gonna lie, it's yeah. it's been long. I mean, it's I, I it, it wasn't the fact that I was mad at anybody. It's just I have not had time to sit. No, down. Been, and I've told people that when they've asked like where you are, I'm like, well, you got to remember, like he went to college and his wife covered. Well, Nope. It's 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 reciprocate, it's reciprocate, reciprocative. reciprocative. Oh, his yeah. his wife is now going to college, so he's covering. So you know he's yep. doing everything he's supposed to do. Just like you know, realize that. So. Yeah. All right, Big B took up my screen. Boom. Oh, Lord, it's on me. No. Oh, damn. Same one. Wild River Escape. Yeah, Six I'm gonna have to. Uh, Zoom in on that first of all. Oh, nice face, by the way. Nice face print yeah, on that fig. Not face. He's got a good beard. <laughs> but I don't. Even, even the torso. Good to see something new. Ooh. Yeah, that's a cheap set. That's... So you will be seeing that featured at Big B Bricks at undervalued. The uh. Didn't they do the dog, one of the dogs too, and one of the lions, puppies, or something like that? Didn't they re reuse one of those? Uh, they reused it, but they did different print on it. Okay. Yeah. The Yorkie, or the, whatever that dog was, not a Yorkie. But. And that's one of the reasons why I went deep on the uh, the CMF skunk was because, just like, you know, Great South said a second ago, like, what other color are you going to put it? Yeah. yeah. So oh, I, I, have we ever seen a, a brown skunk? Yeah. I, I, I'm sure they have colorations, but you know I've never seen them represented in those. It would be cool. Yeah. So, all right, abrupt end to the show, uh, but I'm going to be very respectful because I know the Legio Trivia Showdown 
is going on tonight. Don't forget to go over to Lucas Brick's channel to see that going on. It's going to be Brick 101 versus Agent Brickat starting in just a couple minutes. Uh, great to have Doc back on. Brick Stackers, brickstackers.com for you guys don't know. It's also great South Bricks right here. I'm hey. Big B Bricks. And uh, join us next week, and I will give you a new updated total of how many brick boxes I have. But until now, it's almost only 30. All right. See you next week. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.